I'm Monique Hom of the Life Alchemy School, and I'm here with your Life Alchemy School Tip of the Week. So this is our first Life Alchemy Tip of the Year, so I'd like to say Happy New Year. I'd also like to ask, how are those New Year's resolutions going? If you're like most people, by now, your New Year's resolutions might be a long forgotten memory. But I'm here with four steps that you can take to help make those New Year's resolutions stick. So the first step is you want to make your goal attainable. So most people make goals that are too big or too fuzzy. For example, a lot of people have on their list, get fit. This is the year that I'm going to get fit. But what does getting fit actually mean to you? For some people, it might be losing 10 pounds. For somebody else, it might be being able to run a marathon or being able to run a mile. And others, it is being able to chase after the kids without getting winded. What does getting fit mean for you or whatever your goal is? Make it really specific, and which will help make it more attainable. In my case, getting fit is one of my major goals. I'm embarrassed to say that the last time I went to the doctor, my, um, my BMI, my body mass index, put me in the obese category. Ugh, yuck. So my goal this year is to get into the healthy range, which is specific and I think it's attainable. Now, your step two to having a New Year's resolution that will stick is to take your goals one day or one week at a time. So in terms of my specific goal, getting fit, what I do is I track my food, what I'm eating, and I write it down every single day. And I've also made week goals in terms of exercise to exercise um, five to six times a week. So I just take it day by day in terms of the tracking and week by week in terms of the exercise. I try to get in as much exercise as I can and watch what I'm eating and write everything down. I also joined Weight Watchers, which I'll talk a little bit more about later, but that is also helping me because they give you a certain amount of points to eat per day and points to eat per week. So it really helps to um, break it down into those weekly and daily goals. The third step is to account for setbacks and then just start again. As much as we all would wish that success just is a straight shot, once you make your decision, you get on track, you start doing what you're meant to do, it just, whoop, you get there. Sometimes that happens, but more often than not, there will be setbacks. It won't say you've made a goal to work out at the gym like five to six days a week, but then you've missed three days. Instead of just saying, oh, I can't do this, I suck, forget it, I'm out of here, you just brush yourself off, start again, and say, I missed three days, but I'm going to go today. And that's how you, you keep it up know that it is not um, a straight shot. In terms of my Weight Watchers, every week I go to a meeting and we get on the scale. And I've been doing this since November and I have to admit that there are some weeks when the scale has gone in the wrong direction, which is very frustrating. But I kept, I've kept it up. I said, well, this is going in the wrong direction or it's going very, very slowly, but it's going and I'm doing what I need to do. So I just keep on the program and that's how you, that's one way to make sure you stick with it. Even when you've messed up, supposedly, you just start up, you keep going. And the last step is to get some support. Um, this is a big step. So find an action partner or hire somebody to help you on your journey. Um, I, one of the things I want to do in terms of getting fit is to do more exercise. So I've signed up for a half marathon in April 
and I got my friend to agree to run with me. And every week we have a, um, every Saturday morning we have a scheduled long run together. So I know that I have a partner to run with. As well, with Weight Watchers, we have weekly meetings and there's support there. If one of your goals, whether your goal is to get fit, find the love of your life this year, or change careers, etc., I can help you with that. <laughs> That's one of the things I do. But you can, um, you can go to me or find some other coach or partner. But it's really important that you find support. It makes all of the difference. So those are the four steps in order to keep your New Year's resolution. Make your goal attainable. Break it down into days or weeks. Account for setbacks and just start over again if you find them. And then get support. Hopefully you'll do that, and by next year, those resolutions will just be part of your life. All right, I hope you have a great week, and let me know in the comments below what your resolutions are or how this journey is going for you. All right, we'll see you next time.